morning students welcome to our lesson for today in this lesson we're going to divide a quantity into more than two parts in a given ratio the keywords ratio unequal parts by the end of this lesson you must be able to use these words confidently sharing in a ratio means to divide a quantity into unequal parts suppose we have this quantity we can cut it into small groups and then share these groups unequally such that one will get five parts and the other gets seven parts. So we say that this quantity is divided unequally into the ratio five is to seven. So if that quantity was 120 deer hogs and cut into 12 equal parts, so that means one part is 120 divided by 12, which is 10. So the five parts got five times 10, which is 50, and the seven parts got seven times 10, which is 70. So we say that 120 dirhams divided into the ratio five is to seven will give us one share of 50 dirhams and another share of 70 dirhams. Answer this problem on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. Every year on his birthday, David shares $300 among his children in the ratio of their ages. This year, the children are aged 4, 9, and 11. How much less will the oldest child receive in two years' time than in this year? When you are working with word problems, it always helps to note the keywords and identify the information that you will need to answer the question. We are given here the amount of $300 and the ages of their children, 4, 9, and 11, which we are going to use as the ratio. We have to find how much the oldest child received this year and in two years' time, then subtract them to answer the question. So let's start with the $300 to be shared in the ratio 4 is to 9 is to 11. Those are the ages of the children. Suppose this bar represents $300, so we have to cut it into three groups with four parts, nine parts, and 11 parts because we want the ratio 4 is to 9 is to 11. That gives us a total of 24 parts. So each part will be 300 divided by 24, which is $12.50. So one part is $12.50. Now we want how much the oldest child receive. The oldest child is 11 years old. So we will find how much he received by multiplying the number of parts by the amount of one part. So that is 11 times 12.50, which gives us $137.50. So that means this year, the oldest child receives $137.50 or $137.50. We don't actually need how much the other two children receive, but for presentation purposes, let's find it. So the, older, the youngest child receives four parts and the middle child receives nine parts. So that, that means they get four times 1250 and nine times 1250. So that means they, their share is $50 for the youngest one and $112.50 for the middle one. Now we have to know how much the oldest child will receive in two years time. Take note that after two years, the ages of the children will increase by two. They will be aged 6, 11, and 13. David will have to share $300 into the ratio 6, 11, and 13. So we will cut this $300 
into three parts with six parts, 11 parts, and 13 parts. A total of 30 parts. Then get the amount of one part that would be 300 divided by 30 or $10. So one small part will be $10. The oldest child who is now 13 years old will get 13 parts of this $10. So that would be 13 lots of 10 or 13 times 10 which is $130. In two years time, the oldest child will receive $130. This year, the oldest child received $137.50. How much less is that? So we will subtract. $137.50 minus $130 gives us $7.50. So that means in two years time, the oldest child receives $7.50 less than what he receives this year. The problem is not asking about the other two children, but just in case, if you will be asked in a question like this, then we will find it by multiplying the amount of one small part to the number in the ratio. So the middle, the middle child will receive 11 parts or 11 lots of $10, which is 110. And the youngest child will receive six lots of $10, which is 60. Answer this problem on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. The angles of a triangle are in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 9. Work out the sizes of these three angles of the triangle. In this problem, not all information is explicitly given, but we have learned in our other lessons that the sum of the triangle's angle is equal to 180 degrees. So this question is equivalent to sharing 180 into the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 9. I will show you an algebraic way to calculate the sizes of the three angles. We will start by taking note that 3 is to 4 is to 9 is a simplified form and to get that we divided the actual angles by a common factor. So to get that the original sizes of the angles, we have to multiply 3 is to 4 is to 9 by that number. So we can say that one angle from the, the angle that reduces to 3 was multiplied by a number say k. So the three angles of the triangle will be represented by 3k, 4k, and 9k wherein k was the number that we used to divide the actual ratio to get 3 is to 4 is to 9. So we can now represent first angle as 3k, second angle as 4k, and the third angle as 9k. Then we will set up our working equation using what we know that the sum of these three angles is 180 degrees. So 3K plus 4K plus 9K will be equal to 180 degrees. Solving this equation, combine similar terms on the left. 3K plus 4K plus 9K is 16K. So we will have 16K equals 180. And solving for K, you divide 180 by 16. So we will get K is 11.25. So that means the original ratio of the angles was divided by 11.25 to get the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 9. So now we will multiply this back into this ratio to get the actual sizes of the, of the angles. So the first angle will be 3K, which is 3 times 11.25, 
and the second angle will be 4 times 11.25 and the third angle is 9 times 11.25 so that gives us the three angles of sizes 33.75 45 degrees and 101.25 degrees how to check you should add all these angles and you have to get 180 degrees.